Hi, today we're gonna to demo the Epson C6500 label printer. To begin with, there are two models that you need to be aware of. This is the auto cutter version with the A, and there's also a peel and present model, which I'll explain to you in a little bit. With the printers, when you're making your decision in the beginning, there's another thing you need to realize. There's two versions. There's a gloss version and a matte version. And the reason for this is the, the inks are all the same. They use the CYMK ink cartridges for all the printers, but the K, the black cartridge, you have to choose either a gloss black or a matte black. And that's the printer you're choosing. Once you choose, you can't interchange the black or the black inks. And the reason for that is printing on matte materials, you, you'll get a more vibrant black and better solids with the matte printer. But with a gloss printer, you can print on all materials, gloss or matte materials. It just won't be quite as vibrant as it would on a matte material with a matte ink. The other spec that's important is the material width. So this one will do a material between one inch and eight and a half inches. I'm gonna to get to some more of the details and specs in a moment, but let's print some labels first. First of all, I just wanna show here the difference between die cut labels and continuous labels. With the die cut labels, the labels are pre-cut already on the roll. You can see here on the corners, they're round. And this is a continuous roll. So when we say continuous labels, the roll is continuous. The machine will cut the labels to size and you can see down here, there's square corners. Okay, so this is a four by six die cut label. This is a wine label. And within this program, you just print directly from a PDF, nothing fancy. Within the PDF, you're going to be creating your own presets. So they're called media names. And I've already created one called 6x4 die cut. So this will have, now it's just asking me to double check my selections. And I will have to double check. And I do want it to be a gap detection because these labels have gaps. That tells the label printer what you have in it. So I've already saved all the settings that I want here. I have a glossy paper chosen with a maximum quality and vivid colors. So all those settings are defaulted now that I've created that media name as well. And now just to make that a full label, we're gonna go in this case, choose landscape. So now we have a full four by six label and that will print off now. I, as, I, as I mentioned, I have the high quality set. So the, the speed of this label could be faster if I chose a different setting, but I wanted high quality. So it's, it's slower speed. And as I'll show you here in a moment, this is these are die cut labels, as I mentioned, and it's going to cut it. Just cut one for your for this example. And while that finishes, we'll show you that a little closer up, how nice that turned out. So another thing I want to talk about is how easy it is to change the materials over. All right, so we basically lift, lift the lever up. We just have to do a couple little minor things here. Remove the spindle. Spindle holder comes off. Remove your labels. Install your other label roll. Put the spindle guide back on. And feed it in. Lock that down. And that's it. Now you're ready to go with a new material. All right, so this is a bigger label. We're gonna do this one. The continuous material is eight inches wide. It's on a long roll and I've created a preset called eight by 11 continuous. Once again, I've saved my settings. This time it's matte paper. I have print quality normal. So this will be a little bit faster. With a chemical label, you know, the detail is not that important and, and speed matters a little bit more. So as you'll notice, this one will probably print faster than the last one because the detail doesn't need to be there. See, so you could you do you could adjust the settings with this Epson printer. Once again, if with a eight inch wide material, you could make very large labels. You could see the details just fine on normal setting. And the next label we're gonna talk about here is a, another chemical label, but we're gonna print this one on eight inch material, but we're gonna change the orientation so it's eight by five and a half. So you can see here, the continuous label is still chosen, matte paper, all my settings. But you can see the versatility now of these labels you can create. I'm gonna to have to change this to portrait in this case, and it is now eight by five and a half. Once you print this one, 
You can now see with that same 8 inch continuous roll of material, you have versatility to print a variety of sizes of labels. And the machine will cut it to size. So, again, the detail doesn't have to be great for a chemical label and looks very nice. Now, the other thing about this design, I just want to show you how clever this is. So I showed you how it opens, but they've also designed this. So if you have access from the back, it makes more sense. Then you have this door that opens both ways. So it's incredibly clever little design. Very easy to change this material over. Changing ink cartridges is very easy. Basically, you have your black and your magenta here and your cyan and your yellow there. Click it out and then you just replace it. It's as simple as that. Now, the other consumable that this printer has is a maintenance box. You'll find that over here. I will show you from another angle as well. This is the maintenance box. So the other thing about the Colorworks printers is the ink durability. The Epson line has a ultra chrome pigmented inks, which make it great for when your labels need to endure moisture, like water or frost, or if you're using chemicals such as hand sanitizer or uh, essential oils, it will endure that very well. Another big thing is if your labels will be outdoors in the UV, then you need a pigmented ink and this will hold up well. The ink is actually, when it's combined with the correct material, this is BS5609 certified for containers that will be exposed to salt water. So that's extremely high rating. The print quality is high, uh, up to 1200 DPI. You'll be happy with that. And the print speed on these is, is decent. It'll be up to about four inches per second with this model. Now let's talk about the two models, the auto cut version and the peel and present version. The auto cutter, it is the most versatile. You'll be able to put in continuous labels. You'll be able to put in die cut labels. And the machine will cut them off to where you want if you want them to cut. A lot of people also buy the external additional rewinder that will mount. And you can then print roll to roll labeling. So then you can roll a whole bunch up onto the one roll. The peel and present model. So it's a similar thing, but what it does is it peels the back paper off and it sticks the part of the label out. So it's already ready to go. It presents the label. So then you could you could take them individually and say, put them on your boxes one at a time. You don't have to worry about peeling them. Another reason might be if you have a special robot or a, a special label applicator that you want to be able to just grab the label that's already peeled and apply it to the product, uh, the peel and present model will do that. Otherwise, you can get a rewinder with the normal cut model and rewind them onto a roll, which then could go to an applicator. And a lot of people do that as well. So the operating systems, these will come with Windows driver, Mac drivers, and Linux drivers, so you can run on any operating system. There's also a connection in the back for USB, Ethernet, and there's also a 25-pin I.O. port for connection with the two-way data transferring. So that's the overview of the C6500 printer. If you've got any questions and you want to throw them in the comments, I'll be happy to answer them when I, when I can. If you want to see the price, the link will be in the description. If you live in Canada and you would like us to do some test printing with this for you, reach out to me and or leave me another comment here. So thanks a lot. If you like these and you want to see more, please subscribe to the channel and hit that alarm bell so that you get all the notifications.